Hey guys, EpicFXO1 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a gun muzzle effect on your video using Windows Live Movie Maker. So first you're going to want to import a video of you shooting, pretending to shoot a fake gun or just using your hand like I did, and get a gun sound. So I'll put a link in the description where to get a good gun sound. And um, yeah, so I already put mine in the right spot. You're going to want to get the exact frame by using these things here. And putting the sound right there. So after you're done doing that, you're going to want <coughs> to take a screenshot of the entire screen and open up Paint. Then you're going to want to press Control V and it'll come up. Then you're going to want to use this tool and cut out the video screen like this. After you're done that, you're just going to want to crop it and save that. Just make, give it any name. So, gun. Yeah. And, um. Yeah. So, then you're just going to exit out of that. And open up a program called GIMP. If you don't already have GIMP, I'll put the link in the description for that, too, to download it. So, then you open up file. And, go, or you go to file, press open. And find the picture you just made. So, where is it? Right there. And there it is. Then you're going to want to go to open again. And get a gun muzzle picture. So you can probably find that on like Google Images or whatever you use for your image finding. And just open that. Another window should pop up. Right there. And then you want to go to colors. Color to alpha. And go from here and then just select a black or whatever the background on your thing is. And the checkered stuff means it's just clear. So after that, press OK. It'll go like that. Then you're going to want to go to this tool here and just go around it all. Then you're going to want to press Control c Then you're going to want to just exit out of that and go over this and press control V and you're gonna want to go to this tool it resizes it um, I'd say the size about that Let's see if that will there scale and just whoa move that so like right there that'd be good scale now you're gonna want to save this picture as so go to here and go to save as and yeah, save, place, export, save. Then you're gonna gonna wanna exit out of GIMP, and it'll bring you back to this. Then you're gonna gonna wanna go to video tools and press split right where that frame is. Once you've done that, once you've done that, you're gonna wanna go to add videos and photos. Find the picture you just made. So. Mine's going to be somewhere around here, right there. And you're going to want to shorten this, like, really, really short. So I'll put mine 0 0.03. And then move it right where that gap is. So, yeah, that's pretty much all you do. Um, Yeah, thanks for watching. And I hope this tutorial helped you. See ya.